Wendy, it was a complete pleasure um, doing this pioneering session of Pictures Brain with you. Uh, really, really fun. And in particular, kind of the last thing you said, which was um, a sort of amazement about how parallel your tapestry ideas, my mosaic ideas, and open flow mind ideas are, and how we seem to be on parallel paths, or we've been on parallel paths, and now that we're starting to exchange information and see how this stuff all fits together, it seems like we're heading into the very thing we're trying to build uh, to tell our stories and share what we know. So that's really exciting, and I love that. Uh, what I've got here is the thought I shared with you at the end of the call. I'm going to uh, also paste uh, the video recording here on YouTube. I'll add it to this thought so you'll see a little YouTube icon sort of like these up here. But then up here in just an alphabetic order because <clears throat> that's the, the sort order I've chosen for the brain, but are a lot of the things that we talked about, uh, including, hey, we are all drowning in the info torrent. So why create a better shared memory? Why uh, build a tapestry? Well, um, we don't have information curated into places that get better. We're busy like making our way through increasing feeds uh, you know, every year it seems somebody adds something new. This year, last year it was TikTok, the year before it was Snapchat, um, and who knows what it's going to be next year. But uh, Campfire was somewhere in between, although Campfire doesn't really record much, so there's no byproducts of Campfire. And I'm not sure that not recording things is actually the better answer. Anyway, we're busy drowning information while striving for wisdom, is a, is a quote I didn't connect to our call. <clears throat> but um, that would be why we might want to create. Uh, our different sorts of projects. So here's your tapestry project. Uh, and I, I added a thought above that called helping communities see themselves. And I connected my open global mind multiplane camera mosaic idea, uh, which you've seen. But I think I, I hadn't actually, um, we hadn't actually gone through any of the drawings together. So I figured I would just rem give you a refresh of what those were. Uh, the idea was that there were different layers. This layer is the entity layer. And then uh, there would be a participants layer that would kind of be above that and these participants are in fact meant to fit above the, pro the projects that they're in. So Tom is Tom Attlee who is part of the wise democracy pattern language for example uh, and so forth. And then there would be um, an infrastructure layer which is more conceptual about how information comes in. This is the info flood. We curate nuggets out of the info flood. We receive them as videos or transcripts of conversations or links. Uh, we then add metadata and put these things in public stores and then through a variety of narrative techniques, map making techniques, techniques create this shared memory. And my axe, my tool is this brain thing. And then this magic square in the middle here, I think, I think is what we referred to a whole bunch of times in our call. <clears throat> this idea of what is the space within which we compare narratives and maps and within which we find useful representations of Who's talking to whom? What projects are they working on? What might I do next? What do I believe? Those kinds of things. Uh, and so how do we create safe spaces within which to have these kinds of conversations? I think that's uh, on the table as well. Uh, and then <clears throat> there was also a layer here of projects. And this uh, dates back to uh, October, sorry, uh, September uh, of 2021. 20, so it's a, a little older. I, I, there would probably be a, a few new projects featured here. I think a whole bunch that I can think of, including your tapestry. Uh, but this is a, a different layer in how people are busy committing their time. And uh, so let me go back to my brain. And um, so that seems to map to the kinds of things that you're talking about creating in the tapestry project. Um, we covered uh, user interfaces, uh, fork, pull, and merge, the process whereby GitHub works and manages to create social uh, connections while improving bodies of code or books or whatever else you put into a GitHub repo. Um, and then um, we talked about Trove quite a bit and Vincent's project uh, to create uh, let me actually connect Vincent to Trove as well because that's kind of the name <clears throat> out of Catalyst. And here's Vincent in my brain along with a, a lot of the kinds of things that he's been working on. Um, and then a bunch of <clears throat> a bunch of the conversation was uh, 
about how do we see ourselves and what might this artifact be like and how do we prototype our way into it and how do we keep it from becoming only one thing and allowing it to, to preserve different individuals' points of view, um, but still making it a not too confusing shared memory object. And I know that this brain thing can be confusing to people who are not accustomed to it. Uh, also, it's not just a matter of familiarity, but different people have very different visual sort of representational styles. Uh, some people like calendars, some people like to-do lists or checklists, other people like maps and mind maps, and they're really, really happy when they see mind maps but not all mind mappers like all mind maps, that's for sure. So it's complicated how to display um, these sorts of things. And I, I, one of the suggestions I made was to do, um, to basically take um, the view master approach of that, that toy where you click and you see different scenes come through in stereoscopic vision, it's a stereoscope, um, and to think of these different ways of handling information as some combination of what's appropriate for the thing I'm trying to do right now and what is my preferred uh, method for representing information or understanding information. And I think that's a, a useful framing for how we build a, uh, a tapestry kind of app that's good for, uh, for all of us. Um, there's a bunch of other threads going on in here, including um, how we you might create so in the tapestry project I added a potential tapestry architecture components thought which I will connect to this call <clears throat> because uh, you know similar to how I'm using uh, OGM architectural component uh, thoughts you might actually want to do that as well but you're not a brain user so thank you very much this has been um, really a, a terrific experiment and uh, eager to hear your feedback and eager to see what this turns into over time but thank you very, very much.